John Herbst is a former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. He is also a senior director of the Atlantic Council's Eurasia Center and joins us now from Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, ambassador, I'm wondering, as you know Ukrainians well, 10 months into this war, how long can the Ukrainian people continue to hold back and keep fighting back against uh, Russia, especially uh, as we move further into the winter and many are now without heat and water? Uh, the Ukrainian people will survive the winter no matter how much heat or water they have or do not have. They know that Putin's trying to extinguish their collective existence as Ukrainians. Senior, Ukra senior Russian officials have said this. The Russian media says it all the time. So they will fight until they win. And the question is, how long can Russia hold on? The military has lost in Ukraine, which is why all they can do is launch bombs and missiles at Ukrainian infrastructure. And if the United States supplies more weapons, longer-range artillery and tanks, and the West supplies that, um, they will decisively defeat the Russians on the battlefield in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And Putin will have a major problem. How, what do you make of the support uh, for Ukraine from the EU and NATO, et cetera? I, is it enough? What more support do you think can be done? I call the support adequate, because with this support, Ukraine is able to stop Moscow from conquering the country and from getting rid of Ukrainians as Ukrainians, forcing them to be little Russians. But it's not enough to help Ukraine reach a fast victory. The West, led by the Biden administration, is too cautious. It's sending stronger offensive weapons, as I mentioned, longer range missiles, the ATACMS, HIMARS, which have a range not just of the 85 kilometers, which we are currently providing, but which have a range of 150 or 300 kilometers, tanks, which Germany refuses to send, which is outrageous, and the United States also is not helping make it easier for Germany to send by Germany to send by sending some Abrams to Ukraine, which are not the best tanks for Ukraine, I must admit. What about this talk from Russia about nuclear weapons? Do you think that's serious, or do you think that's more of a frustration on Putin's part as this war has not gone the way clearly that he's expected it to? Um, his military has proved to be incompetent, so he talks about nuclear weapons in order to deter the United States and Europe from sending Ukraine the supports it needs. But Putin is promiscuous at threatening with nuclear weapons, but he's been very cautious because he's not actually used them. He said he, he would defend all of the areas of Ukraine which he claims is Russian territory with nuclear weapons. He hasn't done that as Ukraine has taken back some of those territories. He threatened to use nuclear weapons if Sweden or Finland join NATO, and they're on the verge of joining NATO. He's not using nukes. So with the threat of nuclear use, he has prevented Washington or deterred Washington at times from sending weapons. But actually using it is another matter. He would be destroyed as much as anyone else. And of course, China and India, who are kind of on his side, have told him, stop this nuclear talk. It's irresponsible. Yeah, do you think the longer this war goes on and Putin ramps up the rhetoric, uh, his supporters, such as China and India, uh, will will back off? Well, they've already tried to distance themselves from him. Um, it seems that China and India are staying away from violating Western sanctions. They're not sending arms to Russia, even as it runs out of arms. And we had the criticism when all three leaders were in Central Asia a couple of months ago about Putin's, you know, again, um, way he's conducting this war and his um, extravagant language about using nuclear weapons. So they are not right beside him. They're sort of somewhat in the distance and increasingly embarrassed by Putin's um, illegitimate, immoral policies and, of course, his failures. All right. Former ambassador to Ukraine, John Herbst, thank you. Thank you.